And most people would join the cartels for protection, right? So now we have this gang stalking situation and people have taken it to an all-time fantastical level, but it's really very, very simple. The whole point of spiritual persecution, and that's what it is, really, ultimately is, is to drive us into the Lord, to drive us home, to let us realize that you cannot handle that on your own. That battle needs to be given to the Lord to, to prevail. You can't prevail in with bullying, gang stalking, and any kind of electronic harassment, and all the rest of it. The, there's there's all harassment from law enforcement, from the IRS, from just any number of places that are contributing to you know hurt people. But again, it's just persecution, and it you know ultimately is you're being persecuted because you're not you know a ranking Satanist, let's say. You're not in their club. That's the best way I can put it. Somehow, when you went to college or you went out in the workplace, somehow you missed it, and it didn't happen. You know, And, and maybe, uh, maybe at one point you were conformed to the world and you did jump through their hoops and you did uh, belong. You know, through your affiliation with a club, that's the only way you could belong. And uh, you, you were, and then you broke away, let's say, because you did not believe the world should be that way, or you just you just didn't like it, or you felt you could make it on your own. Um. Anyway, you know, you know, people keep saying, "Well, how do you how do you beat this thing? How do you win?" and the answer is you have nothing to do with that thing. You know, you trust in the Lord for your provision and your guidance. That's it. There's not going to be a redress. And, and you know, all, all this uh, bullying, stalking, you know, I call it, it's just evil. It's not going away anytime soon, you know, unless the Lord causes it to go away. And, you know, the more you know about it, the more faith you must um, engage in, and the more faith you engage in, the more God is pleased with that faith, the more of a connection there is with the Almighty. So in a sense, the bullying, the stalking, the unfair treatment, right? Unfair treatment. The, um, you know, the, the, the singling out of you. Um, and all the blame that goes with that. Uh, basically, you know, you don't care anymore because Jesus' yoke is easy, his burden is light. We cast our cares on him because he cares for us. So you need, you know, the answer is you need to worry about it. It's always been there um, in my life. It's always been a... Uh, Kind of a constant thing, you know. If you give into it or give energy to it, though, it seems to escalate. And when you just ignore it and go on with your life or whatever, it seems to de-escalate. By that I mean it. It it becomes a um, oh. I guess an exercise in faith. You know, it becomes this, this having to walk by faith and not by sight, like on a daily basis, and you know, not being ashamed of yourself because they do try to shame you. It's like if you don't belong to a certain political party, or if you're a Trump supporter now, you're targeted and meant to feel to be ashamed of yourself. But that's ridiculous. You you know, for whatever reason, you've come to that conclusion, and, and through reasoning, not and logic, not. Uh, emotionalism, and uh, they're trying to bully you out of it. And bully you out of it, you know, you know you're know, you bourgeois, you live in a house, you got to be bullied out of there, and you, you know, you, there's no end to what they'll do, including the murder of tens of millions of people, billions of people, if they could get away with it, or everybody.
So that's why Hollywood is hell bent on the left because the left is had the left hand path historically throughout history and, and the world has been the satanic path of, you know, spiritualism, occult, black magic, spell casting, um, you know, all those things. Candle burning, you know, divining, whatever. And the way of the Lord's always been this narrow, lonely path. And most people go crazy. I mean, you know, in, in terms of trying to understand why are they lonely? Why are they? Why are they not being? Um, why is there no comfort for them? They've never done anything wrong. Why? Why are they being picked on? And the answer is in the book of Job. The book of Job explains it very well. Because the way you perceive that you're treated on that has no bearing on reality. It doesn't matter what you think about it. Um, it's probably uncomfortable. It just doesn't matter what you think about it. What matters is, you know, whether or not it will produce faith in you. Whether or not enduring suffering will produce character. Whether or not those things will go to improving you, strengthening you as a person or whether they will just be something you bitch and bum about until you're broken in a million pieces. You know, now I wanted to talk a little bit about the, the gang stalking thing. I had some, some insights on that the last uh, couple of days, but um, just seeing it on a, on a larger scale, it will always be a spiritual reality. You know, and it may contain all kinds of technology and otherworldly technology too. You don't know about the interdimensional aspect of gang stalking. There's an interdimensional side too. All of that, all of it though, has its origin in uh, a multidimensional kind of um, reality governed by evil, governed by. Uh, satanic spirits and ultimately Satan himself. And that's where it comes from. That's where, you know, lots of evil comes from that same spot. And um, I told you it went mainstream. What I'd like to see is people to understand that uh, the Lord is the one that walks you through the valley of the shadow of death. That is when they're stalking you, persecuting you, bearing false witness, beaming things at you, whatever they're doing, you don't, you can't, we, we cannot make it on our own. When I see these guys up on YouTube and stuff saying that they defeated their perpetrators, they call them perps and all that, don't bother calling them perps. You know, if you're talking about the low-level stuff of, you know, people, you know, you being targeted because you're, you know, politically wrong or you, the, the world doesn't like you or something and they, they're trying to ruin your reputation amongst other people um, that, and all that. You know, that's called persecution. That's what they do to people. If you're not on, the, you know, on their side of things, right, the corrupt, initiated, satanic side officially, then you will be attacked, And if you don't have a good plan to get out of it, I mean, you know, what, it can get so bad you have to leave that city. It can get to the point where there's mobs of people wandering around like zombies just staring at you. Putting bad energy into you, wanting you to fail, to die, whatever. Wanting to have their way with you. They would, they would um, do... Any number of things, and all things that they could think of that would bring you down. And if when you're with the Lord, it's like you're sort of already down. You know, you're already walking along. You're not putting on airs. You're not on an ego trip. You're just, you know, you're just very low in a way. And um, that's not a very satisfying target for them. So... The advice is always the same. It's more Jesus. And ask the Lord to show you all the depths of it. I've seen the depths of it going all the way to, you know, like when five or six people in a hive start harassing you. 
and none of those people know each other, and they just start doing it in the parking lot or whatever. It's like you look at that, and you 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 can you know. I mean, I've I've gotten bored with it now, but I mean, well, not bored, but I just don't have time. I guess the one thing that's defeated the people that attack me is probably because I really do demonstrate I don't care about that. What can they do that they haven't already done in terms of, you know, people are going to believe you or not believe you. They're going to love you or they're going to hate you. You get to a point where you just can't go chasing that stuff around. They can't, you know, Ruin your reputation if it's already ruined. <laughs> um, I guess just knowing that I belong to the Most High God, you know, it's such a such a, a great feeling that the man-made storms don't really matter to me. I don't like them. No, I don't like people trying to get you in trouble and do things, and I, I don't like it at all. But um, at the same time, I don't really care to join the murderers or join any other affiliation. Just Jesus plus nothing is good for me. So with that, I'm going to go ahead. It's going to be a short day because I can't really go on with the, my throat. It's just at this point, i got to stop talking. But I love you guys. I'm praying for you. And, and thank you for uh, your prayers. And I'll be better another week or two. I'll, I'll have this thing licked yeah i've turned the corner and i'll see you guys next time